Hey, everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do a bonus read for the side of Virgo. So, Virgo, this is how this works. It's a you versus them. You are the querent because you're the one with the inquiring mind that's here that wants the information. You're on the left. Whoever they are, we're putting them on the right. If you resonate more on the right, claim it because we don't have tarot police. And all I'm saying is if you are going to claim it, do it from your higher self and for your higher good. Wherever you are on the planet, shout out to you. Thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it. And we love you unconditionally. We are sending you health, wealth, abundance, prosperity to infinity and beyond. Could you please do us a favor? Hit that like and subscribe. It's very, very important, and we are very, very grateful. Lastly, if you want to get in touch with me, my information's in the box below. No one on this end at all will ever reach out to anybody. So if somebody's doing that, they're trying to scam you in some sort of way. Please be mindful. All right, let's hit this clear and ground. Thank you. As above, so below, there is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank the source, the archangels, ascended masters, spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of the collective of Vir Virgo. Show me the energy. All right, Virgo, here we go. Let's see how we're going to help you. Virgo, what's your energy and what are you bringing to the table, Virgo? All right, well, you're in the energy if you want the truth. Now, are you either telling it or you are in your truth. The facts, just the facts. So you're in a very serious energy here, honest energy, about some kind of loss, sadness, and regret, okay? Something, five years, you have some kind of regret, some kind of heartbreak here, some kind of cry me a river, and you want some kind of truth about it. So you're bringing some kind of, um, yeah... You're being honest about your emotions. Here, this person over here is the five of pentacles. This person over here feels left out in the cold. Um, well, maybe they left you out in the cold. It's come some kind of financial loss. This person is walking around in the energy of a deficit or a loss. What are they bringing to the table? Show me. What they're bringing to the table is some kind of stagnation. Um, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. They're bringing some kind of disorder or some kind of delay. Or maybe some kind of setback with this person. Bad luck. Bad luck. Yeah. Bad luck. Let that go. There's some kind of bad luck that this person's bringing. Could be financial problems. This is not... Yeah. Show me. Seeing white and yellow balloons. Here we go. Now, the mutual energy between you is the Queen of Wands in reverse. You're both feeling very um, resentful, jealous, temperamental, demanding, maybe vengeful. You're both not being honest. You're both just being mean. Now, look, I just want to show you my cards are in the upright to you. Okay. So that's the card. All right. So what's in the future coming here? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. What are you doing? Yeah. Some kind of a new emotional awakening. So there could be an opportunity for new love here. Right? Let's see. Show me. Something's not balanced, though. You got justice in reverse. So this person might want to bring you a new offer of emotions, but I don't think it's going to be a very fair offer, okay? Well, you, this is you, Virgo. you are got this new offer, yeah, but you're thinking something's not very fair about it or there's something that is not very fair about it. What's going on with this person? Maybe you feel like you're going to bring somebody an offer of love and it's not going to be fair, something, some, some kind of way like that. Okay, here we go. This person over here, this person is feeling like they're an empress, male or female. They have a lot of self respect, dignity, class, they everything they touch turns to gold. They're very enterprising. They're financially stable, fertile, fertile myrtle, I'm hearing. So whatever they touch, like I said, from a plant to a person. And also they're very um they're very inquisitive. They want to know something. They're they're trying to learn. So the page of swords, it might not just be just watching you because that is the spycraft card. They might be keeping an eye on you, but it's also learning. This person's like trying to learn. Could be anything, right? Does it always have to be, you know, the Page of Swords is just an inquisitive energy that watches and learns and tries to gather information. All right. So this person could be trying to gather information. Now, what is the uh, mutual energy here? Oh, it looks like you both want to take a new leap of faith. Okay. This is like the goal in the future here. Some kind of new opportunity. So there is that. Um, and you both look like you're willing to do it. So that's really good. What's the, mo what's the most likely outcome here, please? And thank you for Virgo. You have the Wheel of Fortune, which is Sagittarius. You have Libra and Aries and Taurus as the most predominant. One card, please. One card for the most likely outcome. Oh, uh, well, you're going to have some kind of painful ending. You're going to have some kind of painful ending with this person. So whatever this is, 
uh, Ten of Swords for you. It's going to be different for everybody, but, uh, you know, Ten of Swords talks about a painful ending. It talks about, you know, some kind of defeat, some kind of loss, some kind of, um, yeah, something very bitter. So whatever this is, yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to end well. Somebody here, you know, you got to use your head over your heart, Virgo. The King of Swords, they don't let their emotions get away with them, all right? Uh, let's get you some letters. I gave you the signs. <clears throat> let's see what we have for you, Virgo. Okay, your letters tonight are V, N, R, G, let's see, and you have uh, I, E, O, and U, we have a C, and an A, so you have A, E, I, O, U, you have all the vowels, I think that's the first one that's happened, K, T, I mean, Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> Somebody might be eating Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yeah, look what I'm selling you. You got K-T-C-V-N-G-R-A-E-I-O-U and sometimes Y. All right. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you next time. Always remember, leave a logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy. And trust in God because karma is real. Till next time, love and light.